Wendy had been, um, has a nice way to say it. Um, you know, Wendy was, she's a, a large person, um, tall, big frame and everything. And Wendy had dropped a lot of weight at this time and looked like, wow, a completely different person when she did this run. And then that I think is what kind of opened everyone's eyes in New York to say, Hey, here's a young, really attractive young lady that can work. Um, she was country, man. She was, she was country. She had that Southern accent, but man, she, she could go and there was something about her that just made her, made her special. And before she was kind of like, um, just another, she was like terrible to say, but she was just like the, the, the women wrestlers that you grew up with that, you know, fabulous moolah that just felt older than they really were felt out of shape. And Wendy now comes in, man, she had gotten herself in great shape and was young and just had a, had a special look about her and a fire that the women wrestlers of yesteryear did not have. Right. You know, they went through the motions. They were an attraction and they only came through, uh, four times a year. Maybe you would get to see women wrestling in your area. And it would always be, you know, on the, on the side of the advertisement, you know, uh, girls and midgets. Right. And that was like, you know, the two lines that this is, this is a special night because, you know, you've got women wrestling. So it had changed, man, that was, that was where the change started to happen. And that's where she really got noticed because she had got herself in tremendous shape. 